Hello, my name is John Capobianco, and this is Network GPT, a further evolution of my work with High ATS from Cisco and Network Automation and ChatGPT4. So as you can see, I set up my server as you are a network engineer. My user as please help me understand the following show IP interface brief output, and then my show command, show IP interface brief. Now this could be any server, any prompt, any show command. There are thousands of show commands that are supported. And if there is a parser from PyETS, we'll pass the JavaScript to ChatGPT, the JavaScript object notation, because it's smaller and it's more easily understood. But if there's not a parser, we'll fall back on the raw output of the show command. This would work on iOS XE, iOS XR, NXOS, ASA, Junos, SROS, multi-platform, multi-vendor, and any show command you can think of. Now here is our results. You are a network engineer. Please help me understand the following. Here's the network data we sent it from their host. And then this is ChatGPT's answer. And it helps us understand that show command. We now this could be any of the examples we've seen so far, right? You are a syslog analyzer. Please analyze, summarize, summarize, and highlight any important syslogs from the following output. I right, show logging, submit. You have to wait for it to answer. Now, even though I sent it all this syslog information, and because I'm using GPT-4, I have double the tokens, it has identified the following important events, these five events, a failure of NV RAM, PMP, a license issue, um, and then you know a summarization, and the number of logins into the device from the syslogs. Now let's do something a little bit different. Let's say you are a network security analyst. Please analyze the following Cisco configuration, configuration, and tell me if it is secure and make recommendations on how to make it more secure. Show run. Now this is going to pass the full show run config and ask it those prompts as a network security analyst. We write back with the results. And again, here are the responses how to secure the device further. Overall, it believes it's relatively secure, but there is some recommendations. Disable Telnet, enable a stronger password, use AAA, disable unused services. You get the idea. And we can do some pretty neat things here. You are a network engineer, please analyze the following routing table and summarize it and highlight any important information. Please analyze the following. Yeah, and then what we can do is show IP route. And we'll be right back. Now this is pretty exciting from this big routing table information. It uh, tells us that it's using the default VRF. It's an IPv4 and there's 20 total routes. All of them have a slash 24 namely and it lists them. They all have a metric of 41 and a preference of 110. They have two next tops, which are this and this. Several slash 30 subnet routes, the remaining slash 32 and local hosts. Some great information here. Now, why don't we see if it can help us do some network engineering. You are a network engineer. Please analyze the following routing table information and help identify any routes that could be summarized or optimized supply the commands show IP route. Beyond just help me summarize and analyze, we can actually say, right, 
um, help me summarize this routing table, something that a human would normally have to look at all of the routes and do the math and do the calculation. Let's see if the AI can help optimize this routing table. Now, here we go. Based on the routing table provided, we can optimize and summarize the following routes. These five routes can be summarized into a single slash 21. To implement this, here's how we would do it, assuming they're in area zero, our router process, area zero range, and then the command. Replace the one in a router OSPF1 with your router ID if it's different. Pretty exciting. Now, I don't want to belabor the point, but it's any server, you are a chatbot, you're a network engineer, you're a security analyst, any prompt, you've seen a variety of prompts, and any show command from the CLI that either has a Cisco PyETS parser, and if not, will fall back on the execute and run the command raw, like show run or show logging. The other commands are using parsers. Because I'm using GPT-4, we have up to 8,000 tokens. So even massive payloads, show interface, show logging, you get it, show IP route, we can fit in our payload. This is very exciting. Um, this is probably the easiest and best implement implementation that I have so far. Very simple user front end. We add our network devices and that's it. We're ready to go and start ChatGPT with Network GPT. Thanks again for your interest.